Fritzy Witsy and the Great Noise Mystery. Fritzy watched the wind blow the leaves across the yard. Not to go outside and play was going to be hard. So Fritzy took some toys down from a tall bookshelf and started driving them around. This she did all by herself. Then suddenly, boom, a sound was heard. It made Fritzy jump, and it sounded like a dinosaur had sat down with a thump. Fritzy grabbed a blanket and covered up her head, then took off running niggity split to hide underneath her bed. Peeking out from underneath her little hiding place, she wondered if monsters might be there, or aliens from outer space. Maybe, Fritzy thought to herself, it's the laughing macaroon, who's laughed so loud it can be heard from here up to the moon. Or maybe it's a muldron with a giant hairy head, who likes to eat bananas and crackers in your bed. Or maybe, yes quite possibly, it's the dreaded little yeet, who likes to take your socks off and tickle little feet. Or, you know now that I think of it, I know what it might be, a tree-eyed four-arm Hildegrat from the planet XK3. He likes to visit Earth at times when the days are cold, to gather all used Kleenex and turn them into gold. Or, what if it's a girl to forget who likes to run around and gather all the lint and dust, then bury it underground? Well, Fitzy tried to think real hard about what she should do. Perhaps, maybe if she trapped it, she could sell it to the zoo. That's it, Fritzy squealed with glee, crawling from her hiding place. I'll build a trap to catch the monster or that thing from outer space. So Fritzy started working to build a monster trap. First she got some old used rope, then lots of plastic wrap. Clothespins, hangers, and an old red sled was really just the start, because making all the gooey mud was Fritzy's favorite part. Finally, with the trap in the place right by her big front door, Fritzy hid behind the couch or crouched down on the floor. Then Fritzy Witsy heard a sound, a small tap tap squeak squeak. Fritzy took a great big breath and stood to take a peek. What Fritzy saw made her laugh, for the monster in her house was none other than a little bitty teensy greensy mouse. Are you the one who made that sound to make me jump and run? No, not me, said the mouse, although it sounds like fun. Well, if it wasn't you that made the noise, then what do you think it was? The mouse looked to the left, then to the right, then scratched its little fuzz. I think it's safe to tell you what I think made that noise. It was the big tall bookshelf that you climbed to get your toys. It fell over, and it hit the floor, and that's what made you jump. Because then when it landed, it made a great big thump. Fritzy started laughing, and so did the little mouse. And together they both laughed and played all day inside the house. The End